Hey, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. And in today's video, we're going to kick off a two-part series focusing on how to watch the ball properly. This is a question I get constantly, and I've, I've actually written a blog article about it quite uh, some, some time ago when I first started Essential Tennis. We'll actually, we'll link to that in the uh, description down below. Uh, today, I want to answer this question for Annaben11, who asked me about it on YouTube. And we're going to break this up into two videos. This one, I'm going to talk about the process and how you should be watching the ball, what you should be focusing on during different parts of the process as a point is taking place back and forth. And in the video after this one, I'm going to use the ball machine and show you a little drill that I like to use to help my students improve their ability to focus on the point of contact. And the reason why this is so unbelievably important is because in my experience, tennis players mess up shots. They hit poor shots for two reasons first and foremost. These are by far the most common reoccurring issues that I, that I see on the court. Number one is having too much tightness and tension in their body. And so ultimately their swing technique may be good, but as they hit X, Y, or Z shot, they have a lot of tension and it just sucks the potential out of their shot. That's most common thing, technical thing I see. Uh, number one. And then number two is just hitting the ball off center, just not hitting a clean shot. Their technique is great. Maybe they're actually loose and relaxed, but the ball doesn't quite hit in the middle of the racket. And so the, their shot goes into the nets or it goes someplace other than where it should have given their technique because they just don't hit it cleanly. And this is misdiagnosed so often, not only by players, but by coaches too. So being able to watch the ball correctly is vital to your success as a tennis player. And the process of watching the ball correctly, in my mind, comes down to two main phases. Phase number one is identification. Being able to, as quickly and accurately as possible, pick up where the ball is going and where it's ultimately going to be so that you can move yourself to the right spot, move your racket face to the right spot, so that you can make clean contact. Have the ball line up in the middle of the strings. This all sounds very fundamental and very basic, right? But fact of the matter is, if you watch for this, if you watch for off-center shots, if you go to your local courts, it happens constantly. This is like an epidemic among amateur tennis players. So, Phase number one is identification. How do, we, how do we identify where the ball is going so that we, we physically can be in the right place at the right time and so that we can also line up our racket in the right place to make clean contact? Well, as the ball, after you've hit a shot and the ball is traveling towards your opponent, your focused vision, which is just a small fraction of your overall field of vision. As humans, we have about 180 degrees of total field of vision. The vast majority of that is not focused. It's blurry. It's our peripheral vision. I actually tried to find uh, good numbers on this yesterday when I was making notes for this video. Um, I've seen numbers anywhere from 5% uh, percent to about 8% of our total field of vision is actually sharp and focused. That's the vision that we use to read that we use to you know, drive our car and where we're you know, trying to identify different maybe threats in the road or look at where we're going to be turning, etc. Our focused vision when the ball is traveling towards our opponent should be on our opponent. We're trying to pick up on little cues such as their position on the courts, their balance, their preparation with their racket. These are all things that will start to give us feedback as to what they're about to do with the ball. Now, once their racket moves forwards towards the ball, and we've gathered all, all that information, we have a pretty good picture in our mind. Okay, this, it's probably likely going to be this shot, which is anticipation, by the way, another subject for another video. Once they've struck the ball, our focused vision needs to immediately jump from our opponent to the ball. And this is the action phase. We've, we've gone from identification to now action and we're actively tracking the ball coming off their racket to our racket. And once the ball comes off their racket, your focused vision needs to be on that ball exclusively up until and 
ideally a little bit after the point of contact on your own racket. You need to tr actively track that ball with your focused vision and not have it be taken off course. You're going to be tempted as the ball is coming towards your racket and you're starting to hit the ball, you're going to be tempted to look up and see where your opponent is moving. You're going to be tempted to see where they are on the court. You're also going to be tempted to look up prematurely and see where your shot is going, right? If you've played much tennis at all, you to totally know what I'm talking about. And right, right here, you know, I'm up in a kind of a net uh, position. I'm close to the net. It's so common for players to maybe get a floater, you know, volley, go to hit the ball and look at their target just before they hit. And that split second of lack of focus causes them to miss hit the shot. And as a result, you know, they chunk it off their, their frame, they dump it into the net, and th those are the worst misses because, you know, the point was in hand. We had the upper hand, but we just give it away due to a lack of focus, literally. We're not focusing on the right thing at the right time. So this takes discipline and it takes practice. And in the video after this one, I'm going to show you my favorite drill to work on focusing on the point of contact and meeting the ball cleanly in the middle of the strings as often as possible. So you're going to see a link to that uh, just in a second here after I'm done. You're also going to see a link in the description down below. If you've enjoyed my uh, description here of the process of how to watch the ball and you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor and click like. Also be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you have any comments or questions at all, please feel free to leave those right down below. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video, uh, part two in this series. Until then, take care and good luck with your tennis.